Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome. This is the last resort. Okay. Um, Haven Island, new map for Hitman 2. And not huge, but I like it. Alright, so a few tips and tricks on how to accomplish killing your three bad guys. There are some twists and sides and ways you can get other objectives completed. I've already completed the story missions and everything else, so um, she's going to want you to obtain a USB flash drive from his villa, but what you can do is go in there and steal it and go back and give it to her, kill her, take it back again, give it to him, kill him, <laughs> and take it back again, and you still end up with it, but you have accomplished killing two of these guys, two bad guys. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go into the, um, the planning phase. Now, I've already got a few other places, um, like starting location. Uh, I can start at the gym, the pool, the resort. I'm going to go ahead and start at the default location, which is the, the pier. But the smuggled item, I'm going to go ahead and put it in my hut. And... Yes, I've already locked this. Uh, call it the puke pistol. <laughs> it's um, an emetic pistol, which means in this game it makes somebody sick. And they'll run for a toilet or a trash can or whatever to throw up. But you get um, one shot. And it's kind of bullshit. I'd love to have infinite ammo or, you know, 20 rounds or whatever. Um, but you don't get it. So I'm just going to take a suppressed pistol. In this case, the, uh, the chrome one. I'm going to take my usuals, which is going to be lockpick. No, I want you on here. Smuggled item, I want to go ahead and do. There is enough poison where if you want to accomplish poisoning all three, uh, there is three potential places to get poison. Um, two that I've found so far for the poison frog, and then there's a poison pill bottle. Uh, there's also, um, this is mission reward for completing the story missions. It's actually a pretty slick uh, sniper rifle. And if you want, you can actually take out all three targets with a sniper rifle, and that's a side mission right there. Um, the place to do it from is from the tower, and I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, I'm going to go ahead and carry lethal pills, just for the sake of it. So, we don't need the coins, I almost never use coins, plus there's plenty of them around the map you can actually pick up. Um, don't know. Uh, let's just go ahead and take poison. So we'll have two poisons with us that we can use to poison the targets, and I'll see if I can actually go about doing it in a manner of getting the USB drive and passing it between the, the, the people. Alright, so that's good enough. Let's go ahead and get in here and play. I'm going to do it on casual just because, and oh, I'm not going to promise that I'm going to do this well. I'm sure I'm going to screw something up somewhere, especially trying to show off different ways. Um, there is one particular spot where you're going after Tyson Wilson, uh, Williams there, the guy with all the frickin' lesions all over his body, that you can go two Welcome different rounds. Nice map. The Haven Island staff is ready to receive you under your assumed identity as Tobias Reaper. I think somebody would come up you know, with the um, concept that Tobias Reaper checks into your establishment. Ludmilla Shit's gonna go wrong. Can be found in the public sections of the island, primarily tending to client needs. Stephen Bradley alternates between looking after a strict training regimen and working on a small private island. He doesn't really do any work on that island, unless you count drinking. This is it, 47. Eliminating right. the three owners of Haven 
Should buy Miss Ward the time needed to do a full penetration and retrieval of the Providence partner data. All right, Baldy, let's get at it. There's Best multiple team. escape routes. Um, that boat, a jet ski, an airplane, and another boat you have to find the key for. So when you first come in, see that's the um, one of the targets right there. The female. She's always got that bodyguard with her everywhere. Nice to finally put a face to the name. Welcome to Haven. Thank you. Now piss off. <laughs> Um, you can go and check in and get your key for your resort or your, your bungalow or hut or whatever you want to call it. Welcome to Haven Island. Oh, please collect your key to the private hut in the welcome center. Okay, Boy, enjoy your stay. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Just for that, I'm not going to kill you. Mr. Reaper, welcome to Haven. Here is the key for your personal hut. Um, it's the one behind you on the right. Oh, and Miss Petrova asked me to tell you that mm. she has left a personal message for you in your hut. Have a good day, sir. Want some of these damn mints. All right, so we got four huts. Um, yeah, that one right there is. We're in the shark hut. Well, this one right here is on the right is ours. I thank you. I'm gonna put on a pair of damn shoes. <laughs> All right, inside your hut, you're gonna find these. There's, I think, eleven of them. Yeah, eleven of those. It's an achievement to find all eleven, and I haven't done that yet. You do have um, swimwear disguise you right here in your your hut. And let's note you pick that up and you call her and follow that storyline. I am going to go ahead and retrieve my pills. I don't need the uh, the case. Then in your bathroom is a barber razor, good for slitting stuff. You'll notice that um, there's a trap door. So if you want to go the route of the doctor and doing that that bit then you're going to have to ditch your pistol somewhere. And there's a couple different options. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop mine in here. I can actually go back to my case and... Conceal item. Mine a pistole. Oh, there we go. I don't think the barber razor counts as being seen when frisked. It doesn't show up. Okay, so we'll keep that active in case we need it. Oh. And if you want to cont continue the storyline, you make the phone call from here. There's other locations you can pick up a phone and use it, but may as well do it while you're here in the hut. It takes a couple seconds. you got to sit here and wait for her to pick up from the it's conversation. I read your note. You do. You have an offer? I'll keep it in mind. Wonderful. I hope to see you there. Alright. So now we have to go meet up with her and get their mission. And then we'll come back and we'll do it a slightly different way. There's no point in running to this one because she hasn't made it there yet. Um since that's my hut right there. Hello, sir. Hi, how are you? That's her. So she hasn't made it there yet. So even though we can't go in here, that's Jason Portman. If you're familiar with the Hokkaido mission, Jason oh, Portman was that's Jason Portman, former CEO yeah, I just said of Quantum that. Leap and current CEO of Much Talk, the disreputed social media network currently involved in a user data scandal. Why is he here, 47? I don't give a damn why he's here. But Pain in the ass, you can't just jump down wherever you want to. Um, but you can come out here. He will walk out onto this balcony, and you can sneak up behind him and kick him off. 
So we'll, we'll accomplish this little side task here, which I haven't done yet for some reason. Never mind, he is out on the jet ski. But... Or is that him there? Yeah, that's him right there. Alright, so... Since we see he's drinking out of that, we could technically we could just poison that and be done with it. And that would kill him. If you watch around the grassy areas, you can sometimes find um, poison frogs. I've found two so far locations that they spawn. That's right, go on inside. So while he's here, what I'll do is remove the safety from the trapdoor. Overflow the sink. Not step on the trapdoor. Now he's pissed off. Why is this leaking? Is that I? And unfortunately, that's not him. Accident happened. <laughs> All right, I don't think that was my intended target, but like the toilet paper holder there. Interesting. But we can come back over here and close. There's also another one to pick up the keys to all four huts. So at some point, Jason will actually show up and respond to the, hey, why is this leaking? Turn off the water, he'll back up and fall right through again, just like the other one did. There we go. I think that's him. Wait, was it sink running? He'll thankfully turn it off. Get pissed off, step back, and accidents happen. There we go. Jason Portman dead. And close. We already have that key, but yeah, now we have a second one. Body found. It's not like we can do anything with their clothing anyway, so... It's interesting how that little small drop there into water kills them. I don't know how, but okay. Always check the grass, because there's different stuff, like that's an emetic poison, which will make them sick, and they'll have to run for a bathroom. All right, let's go talk to the huzzy. And apparently there's also a side mission where, or a side whatever, that um, you can make her fall through one of those things and die. Good day. Bitch, where are you going? I came here to talk to your ass. Uh, excuse me, but it really freaks me out when people stand too close to me. You such a dumb whore. Took a little too long getting here. Yeah, thank you. Have a nice day. So now I'm going to have to find another phone and call again. There is a phone right over here. Get up, my damn one. So we're going to have to wait, and we'll come back to that. Thank you. So we can actually go over here and get the um, the USB flash drive, and we'll we'll already have it. That way we can do the exchange game. 
Now, another thing that I've noticed, which is kind of stupid, um, as you're roaming around the beach, you will find starfish, which those aren't stupid, I like those. But you also find black hole, crab hole. You can use those to store weapons and store items. If you look on the back of the boat and some of the other places, if you pick up this pearl, and I don't know why, you pick up this pearl, it is an illegal item. And if anybody sees you pick up this frickin' pearl out of the sand, they will immediately call for, you know, security. The starfish, interestingly enough, you can use as a throwing star. So, you can find them, get them. Got a fire axe or a little camp axe there. All right, the um, the doctor method, which we're going to go ahead and get the flash drive anyway first, but there's two security guys over there, and you'll have to go through them with a pat-down. There's a side door here, but there is guys right there on the other side of it, and they will see you, so don't use that door. There is also a trap door, and I'll show you that. That's how we're going to come back out. Um... Looking for coconut. There is coconut and driftwood you can find laying around here. There's coconut. Because you got a guy standing here at the grill and a woman sitting over there. Of course, you're not supposed to be here, so. A couple ways you can accomplish this. Um. Oh, and there's also an achievement where this dude on the, um, the diving board, you can shoot him and kill him. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit! Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. Oh, shit. Okay, that was an achievement. And that was cool and all. But it kind of screws me up on doing the USB flash drive uh, mission. So I can hang that up. But what I found was... Um, you turn this faucet on. It's going to give you distraction. It gets rid of her. She will come down here. And... Investigate. She will turn off the water. And you can do things a couple different ways. You can go ahead and while she's down here... Wait for her to get to the spigot. Turn the water off. Smash her in the head with a wrench. And then do the same thing for him. And drag the bodies over here so they're out of the way, out of line of sight. And then you can take his suit and proceed on. So that's the, the route that we're going to take here. I mean, I could just go ahead and, while she's down there, go ahead and smash him in the head and go about it. But let's go this route. Wait for her to turn the... Um, the water off. Stand up, turn around, and start walking away. Nice. Get my wrench back. Get my wrench, winch. All right, pop her over here. If you do want to go for the no kill, fortunately, there's nowhere to hide the body, other than dumping her ass in the water, which will kill her. So you can do it this way, cause him to get pissed off, find out what the distraction is, come and take a look at it, or you can just climb up now, smash him in his head, drag him behind the sofa up there, and his body won't be found. Well, I think that's what we're going to do. Because I don't want to wait. I want my wrench back. If you drag him right here, nobody's going to see him. So now you're a tech crew, and... Well, I'm not going to be able to do the, um... Turn off stove. Uh, sort of gas leak. Not worried about doing this. So pretty much you 
can just walk casually or run, whatever you want. Nobody's going to give you any crap here. Um, but if you're doing the exchange for doing the um, the propane, not propane, the, um, the USB flash drive, come over here, you got a bar. But right here, look, there's a guy inside. We can't get in, but he will thankfully come out. And give us a key card. And conveniently, there is a place to store his butte. So again, if you're going for a no kill, then um, that doesn't count towards it. And essentially, everybody's still alive except for the the target and. Jason Portman and one unfortunate secondary. Now you can come up here and there is nobody in this room. But if you want, there's a shotgun and there's two weapons here. You can get from this cabinet, while I'm having my lockpicks, a lethal pills. I haven't found a reason to do this, but you can cycle through the videos uh, on the screen there. A uh, pair of scissors. The safe here, there's nothing in it. So, you can open it if you want to, but there's nothing in there. Open up this one, and... Bodyguard, yay! So you can get the bodyguard uniform. I will actually come back to this one. I'm going to keep this for now. You're not supposed to be in here with this, but the bodyguard will get you in a lot of good places. So I will come back and get that, that uniform. So we'll continue going down. That looks pretty cool. Get to here. I haven't found a practical reason, but you can vent the gas out there. These guys won't bug you. No problems here. No point in going to the phone anymore, but that's another phone you can use for um, calling Chicky. If you want, you can take lethal poison, shove it in here, and kill everybody in that room. There's only two people that'll spot you in that room. So there's other things you can do in there, but and you can also rig an electrical outlet as well. But you can poison that and then kill everybody and then turn off the ventilation and walk in there and not have to worry about getting yourself killed. Or you can just go down here. Going upstairs just gives you a walk around the outside. Hey, how you doing, sir? Good, how are you? The guards won't bug you here. But if you come in here... This guy is so preoccupied with polishing his shoes that you can actually come over here and now I have not been busted yet. This will probably be the one time I get busted doing it. I don't remember what's in here. But we're gonna take a pipe wrench out in case he gets froggy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Have we uh, met before? No no no! Oh. Yep. You're my stabby friend. Totally unnecessary to kill him. I, I just want to get that knife. And a spare pistol. Um, but you also have uh, the gas suit. You can put on the gas suit. And once you put poison in a ventilation system, you can walk around without having to worry about it. If you wait long enough, there is a woman that's responsible for... Um, the theft of the um, USB flash drive. She will walk in there, realize that it's missing, and get pissed off and cuss and scream and yell. I think that's her right there. You can also pick up the wet floor signs. People will walk by and step in the water and slip and get knocked unconscious. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, your USB flash drive is gone. 
damn thief. Alright, so, you know, there's Apple and, you know, stuff you can pick up down there if you want to. Um, this isn't it here, it's downstairs, I think. But we'll do this, we'll go ahead and... Um, no, I want to go back to the... You know, the, the um, bodyguard uniform is upstairs, okay. Um... No, I think the thing that I'm looking for is downstairs. Sorry. Then over here. Walk through here. Go up these stairs, and there's a switch. This will activate the um, the ladder, and it will open up the... Um, can't look up high enough to look at it, but that's going to open up the trap door. And once I change uniforms, I'll, I'll show the trap door. We'll go back upstairs. Change our clothes. All right. Now we're all set. Yes, we have to go back downstairs to go back upstairs. All right, so that's going to give us really good um, outfit or clothing or whatever to be able to move around the building. I kind of want to still do the doctor thing. So um, what I will do is... So I have free reign. I can walk around. Um, I will do the doctor mission. You can hide in there. Um, turn on the phonograph for distraction. There's our target. He will spot you with the bodyguard thing. So this this does give us free reign. We can walk around and for the most part we don't have to worry about anything you walk close to the bird cage they will start squawking their heads off and will announce your presence so I know I could easily just go up there and just smack the dog shit out of my target and be done with it yes it is your ass on the line you should have thought about that we just walk right out the damn front door but let's come back as the doctor and accomplish it because there's a secondary way of doing things. Um, in fact, before we do that, no, we need to frickin... Um, the butler is going to be a pain in the ass. Let's see if we can sneak over here. And, um... Hello, sir. Hi, how are you? All right, so up there is you climb up to the top of that is your sniper vantage point. Also, you can come in here since you have the uniform, and you can pick up remote explosives, a pistol if you needed it. All right, thank you. Have a good day. The remote explosives you would need for detonating the jet ski. So if you, you didn't bring your own, you can pick it up from there. Um, but yeah, that's uh, your vantage point. You'll be able to snipe into his villa easily. And what the hell, while I'm here, let's grab a crowbar. We'll go ahead and take a look up here. Um, it's also a discovery point, so once you come up here the first time, you'll get that. So from this vantage point here, unfortunately, I accidentally killed her with an accident, but um, that one, uh, it's kind of hard to show right here. Let's uh, change to a weapon, since I won't get called out for having it. Right there, in that window, and 
think that window, the target will actually stand in front of those two windows, and you'll have a chance to shoot them. Um, that's a hanging plant. You can shoot that. It will fall. Um, there are cameras around. You can get credit for taking out the cameras. That's a hiding hole down there. Um, also, the other guy, uh, the younger guy, he will be on that island. He will jog in a circle around the island. Then he will go to the spot where the bar is, and you can take him out there. He goes to the gym, which is right there. So yeah, and he comes along this beach along this way. Again, there, he's running in a circle. He'll run a complete circle around the island. He'll come back and he'll go to a little hut or whatever that's inside there with a waiter and there's a guard nearby and a civilian. Then after he gets done at the bar, he'll come back, go across the bridge here walk around this way and go up in here and work out. You can kill him with the weights. We'll go into the gym here in just a few minutes. Um, the female, you can snipe her across over here. And there's a couple different spots where you can actually pick her off from here. But she did. Didn't want to kill her that way. So I'm going to end up having to come back in here and do this all over again another time and get that mission. But this bodyguard uniform is going to get you the ability to go a lot of different places. So if you come back around here, there's a shovel. Um, I'm not going to need that pistol. I'm going to end up dumping it. But this guy will spot you. But you come out here and crouch down. Pick up Lethal Frog, yay! And a coconut. Coconuts are good. So now, the Lethal Frog there, and there's one other one that um, we'll show you on the island where the uh, the middle target is. Stephen Bradley. Now, you, you do still have to watch out. There are a few of the, uh, the regular security guys that will spot you, like him. Ooh, so... We'll just come around this way. I think there's a hammer and a screwdriver inside that room. I haven't turned on the engine yet. That's another distraction you can use. Um, there's a sand castle over there you can hide a weapon in. A drink you can pick up. There's another starfish over here, but there's also, if you pay attention near the water, crouch. And you can find fishes. So, that's cool. This is one of the escape boats you can use. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't need anything else. I want the doctor outfit. So, the doctor... All right, the woman. That's usually talking outside. So I think it's this head over here. I totally did not mean to kill her just yet. So, um, yeah, that's her right there. Alright, the doctor is in. You can listen to her. She will give out the mission story. Go about it that way. You can go in there, go apes, and just kill everybody in here. The doctor, unfortunately, has a partner that follows him, her, him everywhere he goes in this house. It's really stupid. So you come over here, unlock the door. And there he is. He's a pissy little whiny thing.
Since I'm not trespassing. Couple coins. And I thought there was another pamphlet in here. There is a golf club. Always fun to uh, bash people over the head with a golf club. Stethoscope. And a little briefcase. Skizzers. Thought there was more. Okay, she's the assistant. The girl that's out here is the doctor's boyfriend, or what have you. Alright, I'm tired of waiting on you. You know, I actually haven't stepped on the thing myself to know if, if I can fall through. Kind of have to have your eyes open for the other uh, pamphlets. All right, there he goes. So, since what you're wanting to do is get him, I'm sure you could do him a less lethal way and take it and do your thing, but destruction. Huh. There it is, right here. So, you just wait, and he'll like, oh, why is the water running? He'll go in there, do the thing, back up, and fall through here, and you can quickly grab his clothing. Kind of want to stand underneath there and see what the hell happens. Oh, the bitch fell. And he fell. <laughs> Oh my god. Why am I hunted? Seriously? Okay, well, we'll restart from that because there's no way in hell they should have seen me for that. Um, the auto saves will give you a, a fallback point. But, probably should have gone back earlier whenever she died, but whatever. Um, and yes, I could engage in combat and kill all the bad guys and stuff like that, but not the point. Doing a 100% kill is entertaining, but instead of doing the trapdoor thing... I don't feel like waiting... Mr. Super Security over there. What? Please, someone help me. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, don't you dare. Stethoscope. Your boyfriend's dead. All right, now we got the doctor suit. We need to get rid of our pistol. So I believe that's the only thing that we have that will. Oh, that's yeah. Um, let's go back to my apartment or my hut. We'll drop this Shiite off. Yes. Unlocking the doors gives you 25 XP, so not like it's a huge deal. Alright, we'll drop that and drop that. I think that's all that we have. That's not going to trigger, but I'm going to drop it in the way. Seriously. Um, all 
All right. So yeah, they get rid of the uh, detonator and all. So that should be all of our illegal weapons. We'll head back to the villa. Now, like I said, there's two ways you can kill um, Tyson Williams. For the most part, well, there's multiple ways you can do whatever you want. But while you're there as the doctor, there's two primary methods. One is to use the um, uh, stethoscope and strangle him. The other one is to poison him. Yeah, she just found her um, boyfriend and his assistant. There's a couple drop-off points where security will drop the bodies. They'll drag them in body bags. So you can always go back. And I haven't done the chef. And there's a, I think I got like two or three that I have not worn yet to finish out that achievement. Listen here, pal. I'm sorry, but you are not getting through. I'm a doctor. Why the hell is this not working? Doctor, see, I got a telescope. Normally you come up here and you can get frisked. You're not allowed to be in here. Smart move. All right, so looks like this one's kind of foobard. I dished all my main weapons. Let's see what I got here. I got two coconuts. Only one starfish. Yeah, that sucks. But there's more than one way to skin a cat. So I'll just go back in the way I came. So don't know why it's like that now. Um, yes, you can pick up a cheeseburger. It's a non-lethal thrown weapon. So we'll come up here, and what normally would happen is you would get through the front gate. You would get escorted. You'll come up here, and you'll be escorted to this room over here. Soda cans, helpful. Key to the mess in the cabinet you've already stolen from. You can poison this pill bottle. But since we are kind of screwed right now. And the butler, knock his ass out, whatever, shove him in here. The security guy won't be a problem because he'll be facing away. When you're sitting here giving him the exam, you have the option of making him take the medication or listening to his lungs. If you go down the rabbit hole of listening to his lungs, then you are set for doing the path of strangling. So if you want to poison him, you have to pick your path a little bit more wisely. Alright, so he's not cooperating this way. There is another method. This guy here is repairing. And you got Mr. Security Guy out there. What you can do is they're going to go through their typical cycle of animations. You wait till Mr. Security Guy comes over here. Opens up this door, stands here for a minute, and he's getting ready to do it now. And then he will turn around and go back to the rail he was leading on just then. As long as your target is not in here, then you're fine. And 
another razor. So watch, make sure <coughs> your loop is set. He's there. Lock him out, and then you can repair this. And if you do it fast enough, you can get him inside there. Let's do this the right way, okay? Put up your hands and no one gets hurt. Yep, nobody's going to get hurt. So you can usually do it without having to worry about killing him. I'm just taking my time talking. And I don't want the weapon. But I don't want it easily seen. Uh, yes, finally. This is gonna be good. Well, some screw driver. Go outside. Wait for me on the balcony. I'm gonna soak in this for a while. Make sure. So he will actually hop into the hot tub, and Mr. Sure. Security Guy will walk outside. I'm just being weird now. Ah, uh, whatever. All right, so hopefully he'll go back into the cycle of where he was here. Seriously, the door was just freaking unlocked. And you can walk over to him and drown him. So, you know, every bit of that just got screwed up. I want my screwdriver back. Pick up locker key. Alright, so yeah, all of that got screwed up. But... Yeah, typically if you don't interrupt the cycle, you can then come right back in, especially if you got the right disguise, and stand right here, you can drown him in the hot tub. If you're in... Hi, how are you? If you're in the bodyguard uniform, I believe you can hand him the, um... Or the red, the red, uh, guard uniform. You can actually hand him the USB flash drive. Since I've already screwed everything up, might as well go ahead and have a little bit of fun. Um, looks almost like the same as the... Uh, yeah, the waiter uniform. Now, if you get into the red and black uniform, then... You can get most places, but you'll still be seen from time to time. So let's go ahead and... We got plenty of poison since we haven't used any yet. Oh, wrong way. Hmm. Yeah, he's in the way. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get to the um, gas suit. We can sneak over here. Unplug server rack. Wet floor sign, water bottles. Yeah, there's a few little things you can do. It's Hi, how are you? Yep, sure is. But how would you know? You're in a freaking air conditioning. Um, let's see. Damn, tech crew. Okay. Um, the gas would have left upstairs. Huh. Shut up, bitch. 
We need him to get away from there. So we got a little bit of time before. So let's go back up here and get the gas suit. Yeah, I know a lot of people who can't remember where they parked their car. Like my ex-wife. Try to remember all the little tidbits. Mostly when I'm playing video games, but you know, little things like, okay, I left that here, this is where that is, and remembering things. Alright, you're still there and you're gonna piss me off. So that's to turn it off, and that's to actually put the poison in. You're gonna piss me off that you're there. So I'm gonna have to take drastic measures. Uh, where's my bar now? Right there. I'm just gonna make an ass of myself. And he didn't respond to that. Well, it distracted him to where, um... Oh no, is he wears green like this? It's killing everybody in there. So that's the thing, though. You would think that by opening up the door, it would actually let the gas in here, but, uh... It doesn't work like that. Since I'm in the gas suit, I can walk out here and not die. But when you do this, then, um... Picking up the wet floor signs. <laughs> oh, so you can puncture that and do that and Intel to pick up. Oh, he walked outside and died. Is that the only one you can unplug? I'm just being an ass now. Um, and Showing some different things you can do along the way. Um, yeah, since he's um, the other guy didn't accomplish his mission. Oh, wait, did we kill her too? Yeah, this whole area down here is green. There she is. Body found. Oh no. He said, as long as you're in the suit, you're fine. You should probably go check that out. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it appears that there's some, some issue with the uh, server rack. And I'm just going to guard this uh, blueberry muffin. I wouldn't go out that door if I was you. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Uh oh. Mm, sorry about that green gas you probably shouldn't walk into. Stupid. Freak out much? <laughs> All right, sweet cheeks. Get you off the door. And just lay down over here for a little bit. All right, so, yeah, enough fun and games. Wait a minute, this is a game. Never mind. So we'll go back up here and get my, um... Mm, yeah, we'll get that. Since we're not worried about a no-kill anymore. And we will head on out. 
Now, there's also another spot where there's a theater room upstairs, and your target will actually go into that theater room. So we'll take a look for that. And when he's sitting down, watching the whatever film... Yeah, Mr. Williams is dead. You didn't do a good job. Uh, newspaper you can get. Um, you can walk into the room and be behind the, th the theater or the screen. And when you're behind the screen, you can actually um, wait until you get seated, use your, your wall hacks, and shoot him. And there's an achievement for doing that. Just gotta remember where that room is. I have not been the butler yet. Um, oopsie. I'm gonna go back to this, but. Don't remember being the butler. Um, um, you should probably check on the butler back there. And the banana is an illegal item. Oh, excuse me. bitch. <laughs> so like I was saying about the banana, um, the banana can actually be used as a weapon of sorts that, um, I, I don't know why, but it, it registers as being an, an illegal item. So if anybody sees you carrying a banana, they freak out and go running for security. Uh, where is it? Okay, I think this is it here. The theater room. And I think the only way to get up there is there. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Yeah, so the only way to get to the theater... And more coins. And there's a dude here. But... The only way to get there is from the outside. Good day to you, sir. Yep, good day to you. These doors don't frickin' open. Conceal item in the drawer. Let's, uh, earphones, which you can use to strangle somebody. Villa key, which I've already got. You're coming on a little strong. Yes, yes, dear. I'm coming on a little strong. Um, yeah, from the outside, there should be a door here. And you can stay in here and shoot through the screen and kill that guy. Screwdriver. Might be able to finagle that a little bit. But you can also climb up the stuff over here and get up there. No need. Alright, let's get out of here. You can't go through there. Spanky, spanky. Nice you, Have a great day. you too, dear. There is also a treasure map, and uh, he, I think that's the waiter outfit. What? <laughs> yeah, the, um, if you decide to use the, um, the trap door, or the um, escape hatch, it's right there. And there is... A key you can use here to open it up from the outside. Since I've already got it open, it won't show it to me. 
That side door we mentioned earlier was right here. So if you opened it, you came in, you might be able to get past those guys, but just not worth it. All right, let's get back over here and play with the other guy really quickly. I am kind of PO'd that I accidentally killed the chick first and didn't follow through on the doctor mission. I don't know. Spanky, spanky. If I turn this on, he's going to get all freaked out and shit, so. But, it's out here, you can get the hammer. And a wrench. Now, while we're here, pick up a lead pipe. You can get him out of the damn way and mess with those pipes right there, which will cause an explosion in the kitchen above. And if you manage to kill the female target, that's an achievement. Ladies' bathroom. Excuse me, pardon me. These guys all call me out. Gonna end up needing the red and black. Good day to you. But you can actually get in without. Yep, you're gonna spot me. Get onto the island. If you follow the USB stick deal, you end up coming over here to the spa, and you can go that route and actually uh, hand her off the uh, USB drive, and then uh, there's your starfish here. There's a driftwood log right over here as well. Right there. But, yeah, you can um, go into the spa. She'll send her security away. You're alone with her. You can give her the flash drive. She'll walk over to the railing. And, yeah, restart it and um, show you that. But if you don't have the correct clothing to get across here, so if you try to go across, that guy will spot you. You can come over here in your normal suit. See, I'm no longer, I'm not trespassing in this uniform. But you can actually run directly across here, watching your security guys. Uh, this guy right here in the rear will walk over to here, stand here, turn around and go back. Whenever he gets back to right there, you can run directly across here, and there you go. And if you pay attention, there is a frog right there. So you can get another poison frog. So you do have to watch out for that guy. There is a wrench right there on the ground as well, but we're just gonna sneak past so we can get by him. She gets to be a pain in the ass whenever you change to um Alright, there's our target. We don't want to go up there just yet. We're on the wrong side of this loop. So what I'll do is I'll screw around and we'll come back. But what you'll want to do is, um, you'll watch. You'll run this loop right here. You'll come over here and sit down. Um, and, yeah, I mean, we could kill them in so many different ways right now. But what you can do is actually knock out the uh, waiter here. Put them in this box right over here. Oh, another banana. Cool. Um... Uh, yeah, you can take his place, serve, his, uh, serve a drink, and there you go. So what we're going to do is, since he's here and we don't want to screw with that friggin' loop, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you another location to kill this guy. This guy's going to be a pain in the ass. He gets in the way. You can hit him with that kettleball, knock him unconscious, drag him underneath here. Just not worth it. We'll take care of him in a more fun way. Uh, there's a coin and the water scooter key. So if I go back and get my explosives, 
then what, maybe what I'll do here. His keys were taken away from the the jet ski. So I could just give him the key to the jet ski and he will go ride it around. But what you want to do is plant the explosives on it first and then give him the key. He gets all happy and shit, rides around the jet ski, and then you can detonate it. So I think that's the way we're going to take him out this time. But I did want to show you that you could actually become the waiter and serve him a poison drink and take him out that way. Oh, pretty flowers. Yeah, medic flower. Um, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and go back to my hut. Grab my remote explosives because I shoved them in there because they, um, there's so many people that would spot me in this uniform. So I wanted to play doctor. All I can do is a second playthrough and actually do the doctor version. Hi, how are you? So, we're back at the apartment. I'm gonna grab the pistol, pearl, grab my good pistol, and get my remote explosives. Now we head back over to the little island. Um, another way to get the jet ski keys, if you didn't know about them underneath the um, the spot where I just got them from, underneath that uh, little hut. You can come over here and you have the scuba instructor, which is a, another outfit I need to wear. Uh, he will come over here and you can put poison in the breathing apparatus. He'll come over and check the uh, breathing apparatus and then we'll promptly die, and he will drop the uh, ski, uh, jet ski uh, uh, keys. But I already got it, so don't need it. Is it always be checking? ABC, always be checking, or ABL, I can tell um, my boy Eagle for um, games like The Hunter and every, every other game. Always be looking. Keep your eyes open. Yes, another mission story revealing, but I've already done all the mission stories. Alright, another way to get around this pecker monkey over there is just walk far over here. You can see the shallow portions. Keep your eyes out, you might find another fish. See the fish? Crouch walk to get to it, or else it will swim away. Yeah, as you can tell, the, uh, the weather changes on the island, too. After you've completed it to a certain time limit, it switches over. So, you have install remote explosives. Like that. You can actually use that as an escape method as well, but it's not going to be much of an escape once we, um, we ditch it. Alright, and he's already gone back over, and while we're waiting for him to finish his loop, it's a game. AI, they're going to make a certain loop anyway. And you kind of get used to, in this game, just like any other game, you learn to predict the spawns and things of that nature. But upstairs here is the uh, gym. And you can either take out the uh, personal trainer, which is my favorite way of getting rid of the personal trainer, Well, thank you. This guy's going to be a pain in the ass. But there's your target here. Once you're the personal trainer, you can come over to here and coerce your target to come over. And you can shove the, yeah, the barbells on top of his, his neck and kill him. You will have to deal with the bodyguard. But you can also go in here if you want to be the... Um, well, knock this guy out. But the personal trainer, you can actually turn off the radio inside there. And one or the other will go in there and just knock them both out. Take the personal trainer clothing and you can do whatever you want. You can do uh, a side mission for telling people to, to do workouts and things like that. So now that Dum Dum's heading back over to the island, 
I see. Yeah, he walks over to the jet ski dude and try to get the key from him. He's declined. So he's all bummed out and shit that he can't get on his jet ski. And then, um, yes, I see you guys over there. Now, once he gets done with that part of his loop, he will then come back, cross the bridge, and then he will do a full circuit running around the island. And Driftwood Log. And so the other option on the island is to, um, to do it with, you know, style. Is you knock out home cheese here, put them inside here, and I'm not going to kill you. But you can dump them in here. Oh, you didn't give me a chef knife? Two bananas down. And what you can do here also is when this guy is down there sitting on the ground by the kettle ball, what I like to do is come over here and place, you have to place the banana down. You can't just drop it. If you place it down, it becomes a trip hazard. It will step on it, slip, fall, knock himself unconscious. And that's an achievement. <coughs> but he's going to be annoying right now and be in the way. Give him time and he will walk back down and go sit by the kettle ball. Not mistaken, after our target makes his loop around the island, he will come up this way instead of this way. So I don't remember why Dum Dum here is walking underneath there, but he will go back over to here and sit down. Sit down, boy. Sit down before I put you down. What about suntan lotion? You sit in the shade, you idiot. So when you put it down, you see it, it knocks the banana out and just leaves the peel there. Um, you can bring a propane tank in here and then I guess you can sit here and cook. Alright, there he's on his um, trip around the island. So what I'll do here is I will wait until he finishes his loop around the island. His security guy can't keep up. He's in full tight gear. Then I'll come over here and catch him before he walks up top. So he'll be all happy and shit and then want to go ride his jet ski. Alright, he's done with his loop. Now he'll walk over here and I can intervene. She gets in the way. When you're in the, um, the waiter outfit, she will be a problem. She will come up there and see you, but you can't just walk by her because she will call you out. She'll have that white dot over her head like the dude over there. Mr. Bradley, are these yours? Give him the jet ski keys. You're going to tear the sea a new one. So you watch, he'll come over here. He's all happy now. He will hop on a jet ski and roam around. But we have an unwelcome surprise for him. Come on, hop on that jet ski. You know you want to do it. Then we got um, Yoga Boy over there. We got to watch slip on a banana peel. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Did you slip on a banana peel? Schmuck. Now he's distracted. That's Stephen Bradley taking Damn, that's some good air off that home. <laughs> Damn. That's all we need to do from here. And I got the keys back. <laughs> he got some really good air time. So that's it. That's all the kills. Uh, there's other ways of doing things. Oh, did you bump your widow head? 
We don't watch out for the banana peels. Come on, get out the damn way. Before I put another banana peel down. Fuck you. <laughs> so yeah, you can stand here as the waiter and serve up a drink and poison it. But you have to wait until your target walks by that hit G to serve. And you'll serve him the drink. Alright, that's it. Well, we can no longer extract from that over there. Um, the only extraction point that I have not used so far... I've used the plane, I've used a jet ski, I've used a... One or two different boats. And there's one other boat that's uh, like the one you started off in. Okay, yeah, that's the jet ski right there, I'm sorry. Wait until he's done doing his thing, and then that will come back off. And it'll be an, an actual extraction point. But he's using the jet ski. Got a boat over there. Ah, uh, let's see. What other clothing do we have? I'm trying to think if there's any other interesting ways of killing off the people. I really didn't intend on killing her by dropping her through the thing. Kind of glad I did in a way, but it wasn't what I was trying to show. And she was hanging underneath here. Actually, this is mine. So yeah, she was hanging from underneath here. The, yeah. Her body's gone. Uh, apparently also, there is a way that um, the female target and I think um, Stephen Bradley will actually get into a hot tub together. And there's an achievement to kill both of them at the same time. So you definitely want to also look for... Um, the keys. I've got the keys to this one already, but you get the keys to all four huts as an achievement. Out of my way. So I got the one for that one. This one is mine, so I already have the key for that one. Um, it appears that I can get away with trespassing in these houses in this uniform. Can't remember if I located this one or not. Remove the safety pin. I thought I used this one. Hmm. Yeah, because this is where I um, took out the doctor and apprentice. So I'm pretty sure I got the key for this one then. Hello, love. Spanky, spanky. I guess not. So there it is. And now let's see if we can find the last key. So once you find the, the key to all four... Uh, housekeeping's in here. I've been in this one before and I don't remember... There's an apple. Apples are, are good, less lethal... Uh, Blend in as resort staff. Why do I want to blend in as resort staff? Where is the key? Alright, so... Yeah, it never hurts to get those door unlocks. Hell, I don't know where it is. Guess there's another way of going about it, and let's do. Um... Can't believe I haven't found a second fish yet. But I got two of these. Death by starfish. Could be resort staff. 
Give me my starfish back. You ain't have no keys. Well, that sucks. Well, you died for nothing then. Um, think about also the treasure. I should have not located the treasure, but there is a treasure map. Come over to Scuba Dude, Scuba Steve's uh, little emporium here. There is a. Not here. Uh, where the hell was it? Um, oh, I think it's the security hut over here. This is actually going to be the. Um, you need the staff key. Right there. There's a um, treasure map part. Looks like a piece of a treasure map it appears to have a skull and bones on it. And that, unless I'm just being old and dumb, I can't see where that actually helps me out a whole a hell of a lot. Staff area key. What are you guys playing? <laughs> and I hear my hard drive. Thank you. Hello. Hard drive is not happy right now. Got the key, so I can just go right in. Um, yeah, this is one of the, the body dumps. This is a storage place, but also there's a hole above. You can actually, that's where I they throw the um, the personal trainer out. Now that I've unlocked it, I can start there as a personal trainer. him yet either. Um, can't just walk right over there, so. Let's see if we can go through the building without raising too much of a stink. All depends on what outfit you're wearing, whether you can get through certain areas or not. Hi, how you doing? by his ass. The boat key to utilize the speedboat is here inside this resort. Good day to you, sir. Yep, good day to you. But for this time we'll go ahead and take the plane and then um, <sighs> I need to restart this mission and try to do the uh, Check you the right way. I don't know where the, um, the treasure is. I'll have to look that up and figure that out. So we'll complete now, and then um, what we can do is restart it and go about it a different method. Because I did not intend to kill her the way that I did. That was purely by accident. Yeah, still 5,000 points. Doing killing all three with poison was a fun route to go. Level 12, yay! All right, now I can start in the or I can stash in the security hut. All right, so let's replan this. Not doing poison, or are we? Yeah. Keep everything the way we got it. Everything's good. It could be the flamingo, winter sports, be the clown. Before I done the clown. 
on this map. Um, and the cowboy. And the requiem. Yeah, let's just change it up a little bit. Okay, the the whole entire intent with um, killing her the other way, the way that I was trying to do it with the USB flash drive route, then is also the uh, the doctor route. I want to try to do those correctly this time. Ah, I should have started in my hut. Starting in your hut, you don't have to worry about coming over here and getting your key and then going back. If you start in the hut, then uh, you already have your key. So now we got to come over here. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Have a nice day. Hi, how are you? Give me my damn key. Thank you. Um, let's grab the pills out of there real quick and grab the note, make the phone call, and then we can go to the meeting with her. Hi, how are you? No time to talk. Grab your pamphlet. Come here. Grab your knife. Or your barber razor. Grab your pills. Grab your note. Make your phone call. You gotta wait for the phone call to go all the way through and do your thing. Miss Vitrova. A note from Ludmilla Vitrova. Yes, yes. It's Tobias Reaper. I read your note. Excellent. Yes, yes, hurry up. I reviewed your file. Right? Following the storyline, where you have the follow turned on, you can see you have a little have greenish icon with the uh, flash around it and the light bulb in it. I'll keep it in mind. You can follow those. As soon as it gets done and he hangs up the phone, it'll show the icon over there, as you can see, and it'll let you know where you need to go. Get out my oh. damn way. <laughs> and no point being in a super hurry because she's going to take forever to get there. But you don't want to sidetrack like I did. I sidetracked a little bit too long. Um, I deviated and she got bored and left. And it kind of threw me off of the mission. So what we want to do here as an alternative completion method is let her get in place. Initiate the mission to um, go find the USB flash drive. What I want to do is, excuse me, get out of my damn way. You saw me walking, bitch. Um, sit down there. Walk faster, woman. Even your security guy is trying to get you to walk faster. Ludmila Vitrova. She don't really strike me as being Russian. Mr. Riva, so good to see you. Don't walk between us again. I will you end you. An offer. Yes. So yeah, it's we can watch as the physics of her um, clothing, physics of her um, skirtish thing there, the does some weird shit. A if in she's in already sitting place down place and you're approaching her, the the, the fabric itself will just be facing straight out. It'll be rigid until you get close enough, and then it will start reacting. But you can see it doesn't react well with the uh, environment. My offer is this. Obtain the USB drive from the thief without alerting anyone at the villa. The thief is likely still there. I can't get you inside, so you'll have to use that particular skill set of yours to gain access. Breaking and entering. Steal flash drive. Come back. Give it to you. Kill you. Oh, did I That's a million dollars, Mr. Reaper. Bring an injector or did I bring the information pills and a vial bottle? Mostly to me. I think I brought pills and a vial bottle and I, I should have brought the uh, hypodermic syringe. Very well. I'll call I guess I'll have to kill her a different way. But let her walk away, let her bodyguard walk away, and then To not spoil the storylines here. Um, what I'm going to do is try to do this a little cleaner this time. I 
without having to murder everybody? Just a few people? Come over here. There is a piece of driftwood. Don't remember exactly where. Um, but there is a coconut. And we could use the coconut. Uh, we don't need to worry about those because we have a pipe wrench we can use. Alright, so. Get it right here. Crouch down so you don't alert this guy. Don't Jump up. I like it down there. Chain me on over. Drop down. Grab the pipe wrench. Turn on the faucet. Which pisses her off. She's going to come find out what's going on. You then smash your cranium in with the, um, the pipe wrench. You'll end up smashing his head in with the pipe wrench. Hiding him behind the sofa. And yeah, all's good. How the hell is it running? And is my damn chat working? It should be working. If not, somebody can let me know in Discord if my chat is not working. Because I haven't seen anything in chat. Of course, I had that problem the other day where I'm trying to stream on Twitch. And it's trying to show me YouTube chat. So as far as I know, probably um, um, it's now probably showing you, uh, Twitch chat and I'm streaming on YouTube. Great. Alright, she turns that off. She walks away. don't need to even worry about um, hiding her body. And I'm going to want my pipe wrench back. But let's come on over here. Nobody sees a thing. Drop. Change clothes. It's the fastest clothing change I've ever seen. Grab my pipe wrench. Quickly, nigga, and negotiate my way over here. We're just gonna run in, grab the USB flash drive, and head back out. Circle back around, come over here. Didn't bring our hacker for that door, so we have to wait for just a moment. He'll come out the door, smash him in his head, take his key card, throw him in the locker. Come on, let's go. Thank you. Alright. So we got his key card. Knocked him out. He's not dead. So. We don't need the pipe wrench. But we don't really need anything else right now. Here, that person won't turn around, so it's no big deal. Go ahead and pick this lock open. He's not going to see you. Take the flash drive and need him out. Oop, wrong way. That's the security office or security lounge. All right, so now I can actually do this, come over here, use this phone, call her, tell her, hey, I've got the flash drive, and let's go ahead and meet. So as soon as this phone call is finished, we head over to the spa and complete the transaction there, murder her there. And take the flash drive back. Alright, so now, plenty enough time. You don't have to wait for her to get there. You can actually get there ahead of her. And, um, now we're going to have to change clothes again. Wrong way. Um, you're going to need your civilian clothes. Scuba mask. Okay. 
So all I'll do is just run back over here. I won't need this outfit again. But if I do, I know where to get it. And we'll climb down. Could have probably just climbed down over here, but just don't want to take a chance of getting spotted just in case. And now let's head on. Coconut. Always need coconuts. We'll head to the spa. Um, I need to make sure I've got a starfish, because I want to kill her with a starfish. I just what I feel like doing. So, right here. Yeah, at the pearl. There is a starfish there. Um, not going to have to worry about her security. I'm in my clothing. Yes, you can hide something in the sandcastle. Shove a gun in the sandcastle. While we're over here, we're going to walk till we get to here, then crouch. And pick up a fish. <laughs> Why? Just because I feel like it. Alright, a spa. Have a little more access, not have to worry about anything because we are in guest mode. Alright, she is here, uh, waiting for us. I'm Mr. Reaper. I have an appointment. Ah, yes, Mr. Reaper. You can go right in. Miss Petrova is waiting for you inside. Have Pimplet. A Apple. Uh. Oh, yeah. Could actually kill her in the, uh, the hot tub. Me, please. Yes, dear. Well, We're gonna go right there. Spanky, spanky. Look, she does have kind of a resting bitch face, though. Come on, you want to go in this room, Mister Security Guy? You're not needed. You leave us. Yeah, out here smoking a damn cigarette. Bitch. Get out. Get out. Spanky. I have a starfish. You have the item with you. Can I have it, please? Sure, you can have it. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Reaper. I have a starfish. I can't tell you how much this means to me, Mr. Reaper. I'm afraid Don't be waving your hands like that at me. That shit's just rude. I'm slowly beginning to understand that. Did I mention I have a starfish? Tyson, Mr. Williams. Bitch! I said, look at my starfish. Good work, forty-seven. Got my um, key. I got the um, starfish back and the flash drive. And. Go for a swim. Now, you can actually, um, if you wait long enough, she'll actually uh, give you access to things like getting massages and things like that. All right, wrong door. <laughs> so, that's killing her and getting the USB stick back. Um, next target. Now, difficult to do without getting spotted, but um, that's the restaurant. Um, do I want to do it? He's on his run, so he's going to then, after he does his circuit around the island, 
he will go sit down, have a drink. So I've got time before he comes to the gym. All right, if you don't have the uh, you know the outfit for Mr. Man Bun here. Pamphlet. I have a fish. Alright, so we want to get rid of him. This puts him in the laundry room downstairs. Then we turn off the sound system. Mr. Man Bun will come in here. He's like, oh, I gotta have my whatever the hell trip hop bullshit music that is. Close the door. Turn your crappy music back on. Ah, oh, excellent. Did I mention I have a fish? All right, disguise his personal trainer and dump. Thank you. Now you can do a couple different things here. You can blend in as a trainer by hitting the punching bag. You come over here. Go do box steps. Lots of box steps. <laughs> you. Hi there. How you doing? I want to see you sweat. Pull ups. Lots of them. <laughs> you could order people around, tell them to go do different um, things. I usually tell her to do the pull ups because she's better to watch doing pull ups than um, Homeboy is here. And you need to it's meditation time. go meditate. Outside now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, another achievement done. Now, here's the thing is when your target comes up, you can tell him to go meditate. And that's an achievement. Um, but now these guys are all doing their thing. You can come over here and hit the bag a little bit. You got um, the bodyguard, like I said, is the problem here. But you can let's see that's the sick dude. He's still finishing up his route. Um, so you can sit here and spot as a personal trainer. And if somebody else comes up, you can have them lift, and that's no problem. But if you want, you can actually kill the uh, the bad guy. And I figured out why the kettlebell. I'm a personal trainer. Why shouldn't I be able to lift a kettlebell? Now these other side rooms, since you know there's time to wait for this, is um Spanka, Spanka. Um she's sitting there. Um the next room over is where I sent that one dude come over here to join doing box steps. Alright, he's on his way back over. So I need to be prepared. Because what's going to happen is, if I do this way, then I'm going to have a bodyguard to deal with, and then I'm going to have to take him out quickly, and then I'm going to have to haul ass. I can go back into the room where I, my clothing is, change clothes, once the door is closed and nobody sees me, and then I can go out as myself again. So, let's try that. Oh, Y'all are done doing your shit. Um, get back to work. All right, here he comes. So I'll just stand here with my arms crossed waiting for anybody to come by. 
Are you coming up now? Yeah. Don't want to serve you. I want you to go the hell away. There's my scrawny little target. Wait until you get the G above his head. He's doing pull ups. I should go over here and. See if I can get him to go do yoga. I want to see you do a lot of box steps. Yeah, move along. Um, you look tired. Go meditate for a while. Yep, understood. You need to weaponize your body. Yes, you need to weaponize your body. Over there. There you go. And you go do box steps. Go away. I told you to do box steps. Move. You giving me a lip, I will kill you. Go do pull-ups then. Give me 30 pull-ups. I hear you. Oh, them you'll do, but you won't do no damn box steps. Alright, so my target's out here meditating. Um which was one of the achievements. Hopefully when he's done meditating, he'll come back in here. In the meantime. Don't I look sexy? Conveniently, there's two security guys right here. One just chilling, looking at stuff. Other one's actually, you know, doing curls. Are you just about done doing your meditation? Because I want to murder you. I mean, I, I, I want to help you, um... Where is his bodyguard? He's not here. Oh. You're coming back in, aren't you? see how much you can bench. And his bodyguard is over there. He just came back. Need a spotter. Yes. Alright, so I have my fish. Okay. Here's my theory. Gonna let him start doing his thing. Gonna murder him. Smack him in the face with a fish. You're above the law. Well done. And there we go. I forgot the screwdriver was there. Still want to get out of the way because they will go from searching to just naturally accusing me like I did it, you know. I'm moving, shut up. Alright, so let's target two down. Kill it with the barbells. So let's go see if we can go play doctor. So what we need to do is go back over to the hut. Jabba the hut. And, um,. Since we're in our clothes now, we can walk wherever we want to for the most part and not have to worry about things. Alright, that 
that's my hut there. It's not the one that I want. I want the one over here with the doctor in it. Fish. Okay. But we need to listen to her talking first. Say mission story revealing. I know, spanky, spanky. It is not doing it. Uh, let's see here. Um. It is not giving me the mission story. So I need her to give me the mission. Yeah, I guess they're going to find a couple bodies. I guess they found the bodies in the laundry room. <laughs> so not sure why she's not giving me the frickin' mission story. Um... I thought I had that one completed. Oh, yeah, security tapes. Um, I've already completed it. Maybe that's why it's not giving it to me. Oh, window of opportunity has passed. Okay. I gotcha. So I should have done that earlier, is what it's telling me. So the, apparently the doctor has already gone, done his thing, and come back. That's why I'm no longer able to do it. Not a problem. Nice fishies. Not a problem at all. But you would stand underneath there, she would give you the mission story, and you would then go inside, knock out the doctor, take his clothing, and go to the villa without any firearms or illegal items, and would then be able to um, impersonate the doctor, go in, knock out the butler, put him in freaking storage. It'll make life easier if you can get that accomplished before the um, target shows up. Thank you. I stole your fish. Um... Don't remember. I think there's a an achievement to knock about with his own fish, but you do your thing, bro. Keep fishing. Could never have too many fishes. Just so many different ways you can go about taking out these targets. That that's the one thing I like about this game is it, it's flexibility. There's a lot of predictability also, but there's some good flexibility on how you can accomplish your missions. So, come back over here. We'll take this. This will give us a little bit more access. Am I trespassing in here? That's the banana. I can't pick that up or else they'll be calling for the popo. The butler. I don't know what. Let's see if we can... Yeah, let's try to get upstairs and see if we can get to the theater. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Somebody didn't like me up there. Well, there 
here's him. Oh, go to a different route. This way is a little bit um, tricky as well, because there is security here. Alright, so what you can do is you'll come in here. I have my suppressed weapon anyway. You come into the theater. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, 47. <laughs> that's all we need to do for you. Oh, that's funny. Be able to extract the information needed from the Haven servers. Good work, 47. And they don't know exactly where the gun shop came from. These guys will spot me. Simple enough. So they accomplished another mission. I want my clothes back. So all I'm gonna do is walk out here, go out the back door, walk over here, grab my clothes. Um or there's the speedboat. That's the airplane. Where was the speedboat? It was right over here. <coughs> Is it? Yeah, I gotta have the key for it. Speedboat key. Where was speedboat key? Right there. <laughs> Easy enough. Gotta do it. I have to do it. Sorry, but <laughs> the fuck is wrong with this mouse? <laughs> That will also trigger the um, security, and you'll have usually two security that'll walk over there, and you can. You know what? I'm not gonna sit here and fight you. But, um, you can sit there, and if you do it right, you hide back around a, a corner again. You can pick off the security guy. Another one will show up. You can pick him off too. So, yeah, that's a bunch of different alternative methods for accomplishing some of these. There's some other stuff too. Um, let's see here. Yep. Bullet time. Another 5,000 points. I mean, I've already got a bunch of the, the major stuff done, so it's not like I can get 20,000 points every friggin' time I do the mission. If you get level 20 on this, on um, Mastery, you unlock a um, another suit you can wear. Buried in the sand. Can bury something outside his hut. Okay. But I can start with it there. So, um, you get challenges. You can check out those. See, I've already drowned a target. Uh, poison. Accidents. I haven't killed him with a uh, fiber wire. I almost never carry that fiber wire in this game. Oh, let's see here. Complete all the uh, things here and get 4,000 XP. Um, 
Eliminate all targets by sniping from the radio tower. I've done that. Um, in fact, I did it with the sniper rifle that you get from uh, completing the story missions. Uh, killer with the explosion in the kitchen. I haven't done that one. Wait for the right timing. You can get both of them in the hot tub at the same time. And a jacuzzi accident. So I guess you're going to have to jury-rig the, the wiring or something on it. Um, I'll have to look into that one later. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah. Trapdoor accident. I accidentally did that one. I didn't do it on purpose. That was putting the explosives on the jet ski, giving him the keys, and I showed two different locations to get the keys from. We just did that one, even though I did it earlier also. Um, killing him with the barbells during the bench press. Eliminate all targets with poison. Easy enough. But you got to take out the old guy first, or early on, as the doctor is the, the only real easy way to get that one accomplished. Um... At one point, you can go back, and I need to do this one too, and give her a massage, and then kill her while you're doing the massage. This one, when you're doing the exam, you have the option of making him take the medication that you've just poisoned, and that'll kill him, or you can listen to his chest. He'll get him, you'll ask him to turn around, and then as soon as he turns around, you use a stethoscope and just strangle his ass. Which wouldn't work with a real one, the shit would pop. Um,. Shooting him through the projector canvas, just did that. Um, eliminate all targets by gassing the underground facility. I, I don't know how that's going to work, because the other two targets, I haven't seen them come anywhere near that, much less the other guy going downstairs. So, I don't know how that's going to work. I'll have to look at that one. Um, while he's out on the jet ski, you can go out with your sniper and pick him off. It's 4,000 points, so it's worth doing. And poisoning his medicine, that's all. Or you can make a chandelier fall and, and kill him. So you've got those. And go back to the main menu, and then go back to destinations, and select that, and then you can find the, um, the other part. Uh, destinations... Haven Island, Mastery. Alright, so the very first one you get for Mastery is a Pirate Sword, or Pirate Saber. Haven't used it yet, but, you know, you, I'll have to figure out a way that I can use it somewhere. Um, level 3, you can usually get level 4 by completing the mission the first time. But, get the laundry room for a stash. Em remote emetic gas device. Basically, this is a puke puck. You lay it out somewhere, trigger it, and anybody close by has to go throw up. Um, restaurant storage, starting location, the pool, hidden stash in your hut. The shark hut is your hut. Hidden stash, changing room, the puke pistol, one shot only. It's stupid as hell to have one shot only can start in the gym, that way you are the personal trainer. So that's pretty cool. You hidden stash in the security hut, that's where you get the remote explosives from anyway. You can bury it inside, you can hide something as a stash outside the hut where you can poison the uh, Stephen Bradley. Um, next up for me is the kitchen. I can start as a cook, or or as a waiter, excuse me. Then the Black Almond, that's the name of the pirate from the pirate, the island here. But um, I still need to find the uh, the pirate's treasure. But you can get his dagger, which would be a lot easier to conceal than a freaking saber. Uh, stash in the bathroom. Stash in the beach storage. Starting location in Pirate Villa, that's outside the restaurant underground storage room for a stash, and then the tropical suit. So that's what I'll be working on, is just getting these last little ones. And again, it's the same challenges you can see before. Your targets, different feats you can accomplish, the classics, whatnot. So, 
if you have any questions about it, come on my Discord channel. Let me know what's going on. And talk about Hitman, talk about whatever games, game development, AR-15 builds, whatever you got question-wise, let me know, and I can probably find an answer for it. Alright, guys and gals, thanks for watching, and we will see you soon.